So in our interest terms of time and having more opportunity to share with our, bueno. our participants and our dear panelists today, I want to start the meeting. Thank you very, very much and welcome to the user engagement panel for the Global Winners panel. Um, we are so happy to have here representatives from Mexico, Chile, and Indonesia uh, that, that will be able to tell us how about their experience working in user engagement. As you know, the Global Initiative for Fiscal Transparency has been helping and enabling countries and civil society get together to build trust among the people. So doing that through data and information being made publicly available about public finance. Uh, this exercise, the user engagement initiative, uh, we have two of them. rally, which, due to the pandemic, had to be nueva realidad y la, con las nuevas situaciones sanitarias en la situación y sí o sí nos voyamos que es un ejemplo de la forma en que hay ciudadanos citoyens que no son pas des experts pero que pueden devenir aussi des experts y aprender avec el tratamiento de las informaciones financieras, bien sûr, porque es una cuestión automática compleja. On a donné ici aussi, nous avons aussi des personas de México, y nous avons des personas de Chile. Ici, je voudrais continuer et constater que ces usagers de pouvoir commencer a trabajar con eux. Merci beaucoup de partager avec nous, entre otras cosas. Je j'aimerais savoir alors quelle est votre participation dans les data et la façon dont vous avez fait des efforts dans votre pays, dans vos pays respectifs. Merci beaucoup pour cette opportunité. Nous avons été très amus lorsque nous avons eu ce, euh, ce défi. Nous avons, nous avons des situations, bien sûr, très importantes. Le défi que nous avons eu, c'était de poser des questions sur la façon dont le gouvernement central peut attribuer des, des, des fonds selon chaque programme, selon chaque projet. Pour l'instant, nous utilisons pour l'instant les données historiques. Nous apprenons du passé, bien sûr. Nous apprenons de nos collègues, du travail de nos collègues et des expériences des autres. Et nous mettons ces fonds sur le domaine spécifique. Mais il faut avoir une expérience de lecture de, des projets, des besoins. Et à partir de là, on peut tirer des apprentissages et on peut formuler, faire une simulation des données aussi. L'attribution de ce budget demande à des indicateurs de développement, par exemple, pour l'économie, pour l'éducation aussi. les fonds locaux, il faut trouver la formule correcte pour le programme spécifique. Dans le domaine de nos expériences, dans chaque domaine de, de notre expérience, mais nous essayons toujours de résoudre des situations concernant les données. C'est une expérience très intéressante que nous avons eue. Merci beaucoup de, de cette possibilité de participation. En utilisant les informations, nous avons 
les antécédents de l'analytique de données. Nous aimerions connaître plus de ton expérience, quel type d'expertise tu as utilisé pour t'approcher plus de ces données. Tu étais étudiante à l'époque Comment tu as commencé Raconte-nous raconte un peu ton expérience. Ce n'est pas seulement moi, j'appartiens à une équipe. Nous sommes appartenant au département d'acquisition d'achat. Et nous, nous sommes responsables de ces budgets. Et nous avons déjà une certaine expérience dans l'attribution de budget. Nous sommes dans le ministère de Finances. Et ce qui concerne les connaissances, mes collègues, de un conocimiento de, contab de contabilidad, incluido yo, que también he trabajado con fondos. Y en mi de études de analítica de affaires. Y un poco. And we also have uh, one of uh, our team is from data science, but for, for for him it's actually also the first time to Uh, mining the data of, about the allocation of the budget. Uh, so the, his background is uh, in the audit, uh, not, not, not sorry, but, but it's more in the uh, taxpayer audit. So it's not really related with the topic, but we can uh, like brainstorming and uh, we learn from the data. And, continue bringing together information on the revenue as well as on the spending stream. Uh, with that, I'm going to very quickly switch to Spanish. Uh, I want to remind everyone in the session that we have in the bottom down uh, of the screen in Zoom, the interpretation button is a little below button. I have uh, a couple of messages mentioning you uh, where is it? So it's in the bottom down. As, as, uh, of your screen, of, of your Zoom screen, and you can click on it and choose French, English, or Spanish channel. If you don't click on it, you are going to hear the session as it goes through. So with that little announcement, I will want to uh, go to Alejandra Macias uh, from Mexico. Alejandra, ¿cómo estás? Um, Hola, buen día. Muy bien. Muy buenos días a todas y todos. Gracias. Alejandra es una ganadora global con un perfil muy interesante. Es una ganadora global con un perfil muy interesante. Es una ganadora global con un perfil muy interesante. Es una ganadora global con un perfil muy interesante. Es una ganadora global con un perfil muy interesante. Es una introduce her results, her experience in the global summit of um, open government. So Alejandra has a profile with a lot more experience. She will tell us about uh, those topics a little more from an expert view. She will tell us the, use, uh, the fruitful and usefulness of this good exercise that is useful for the network. With this introduction, Alejandra, please. I would like to ask you two questions initially. Then, what motivated you to participate? Y que, que ya han logrado eh, ganar como tú. 
Claro que sí, Aura. Muchísimas gracias por el espacio para platicar de esta experiencia que, como dices, ya sucedió algunos años atrás, pero eh, no deja de ser una de las cosas que más me ha gustado eh, hacer eh, desde que estoy involucrada con el tema de finanzas públicas. ¿no? Eh, ¿Qué me motivó? Bueno, la realidad es que este, pues yo trabajo y trabajaba en ese momento en una institución que utiliza los datos de eh, transparencia fiscal todo el tiempo, ¿no? Todo el tiempo. Entonces, el, el, la eh, transparencia presupuestaria o la Secretaría de Hacienda, pues era un socio eh, muy cercano y empezaron todos eh, los um, rallies y participamos, de hecho, dos veces, ¿no? Como, ahora sí que como ciudadanos, pero también como usuarios, <coughs> perdón, como usuarios, este continuos de la información, ¿no? Entonces, ahí teníamos algún tipo de ventaja, la verdad, eh, porque ya más o menos conocíamos las bases de datos. Pero yo creo que lo más interesante fue ir a las calles y darte cuenta que lo, la información que estaba ahí, en, en base de datos, en un Excel, podías este, encontrarlos realmente en algún lugar, ¿no? Que, es que fueran más, eh, pues, reales, palpables, ¿no? Los puedes ver, pues... Este, saber qué está pasando con eso y no es solamente un número. Y ahí te dabas cuenta eh, que, pues, muchas veces sí existía. Many a time it existed, many times it didn't exist, or what was the progress. You could talk to the people who were involved with those works. When I had to lead the team that won, I had the was lucky to go with you to the summit. We were able to supervise the airport. It was a mega works that was impressive. That wouldn't, be, wouldn't have been possible if we uh, hadn't participated in this rally. So one of the things, I have three things that we talked about first, how useful it is. This, are very useful spaces that allow the people to do these kinds of things. On the contrary, or otherwise, we wouldn't do it, and still we are few people involved in these activities. So those spaces must continue to give way to innovation so that you realize, even surprised, see what's going on with this project and the other project that they are reporting, but it's a number. And you don't really know what's going on just by seeing a number. So we would like it to be wider, more people to participate. But it is very useful to go in the street. <clears throat> we can go out and the other exercises that are a little bit more with data, with visualization to find innovate, innovative, innovative ways to understand and communicate this information. It is worth it, but I would insist that we continue to have these exercises of going out in the streets. Now, within the improvement part, potential improvement, First, uh, precisely, how do we make more people to uh, participate? How to motivate them? How to get them thrilled as we have made it all the ones who have participated and won? That is something we need to add to our strategies because now <clears throat> in the institution where we work, we were participants and now we, were, we are organizers of these exercises of um, rally and data. We need to understand how to perform, how to motivate the audience, the citizens and the researchers. The other thing is what happens with these results, what happens with the sites or recommendations when we go out in the street, that call to action on behalf of the authorities. So the process continues. It doesn't stay 
in uh, transparency and uh, data, and we use that, but what's next? In the case of Mexico, I think it's been important because we have seen some improvements. We take recommendations, results, and we improve mainly through budget transparency or openness. The other thing is, well, those spaces allow also to create links to the people who are interested in the budget transfer uh, openness. The community, what we do is, is <clears throat> we learn all of us from one another. We need to foster these spaces. They are limited. We would like them to be bigger, but they exist. And the space we have for innovation, the space for learning, because it is not, we not only learn what we, the ones who win and participate, but also the institutions that implement these exercises, they and ourselves, we learn and improve with these exercises. <clears throat> I'm thrilled. In the last Explorer data, uh, I see there are more women participating and I'm touched by that. I will continue supporting and fostering and doing all possible to encourage the use of data. Thank you very much. I think you're touching upon relevant points. This transition of people who do not know data now to become observers. This part of having the opportunity to uh, revisit mega works many times we hear in the media that they are around us in in the media in the uh, public opinion but we don't have the opportunity to approach i think uh, that experience is worth to highlight let me just uh, mention for the benefit of the audience and the panelists that we have in this meeting uh, general stewards uh, connected, joined in the first session, people from the Dominican Republic, Denim, South Africa, Georgia. We also have people from Mexico, Chile, Uruguay, Guatemala, <clears throat> Guanajuato, Bogota. And we are broadcasting from Bogota. Very happy to hear this session. And with this, I give way to Chile, Gonzalo Picón. I would like Gonzalo a little bit on the line uh, starting uh, started by Alejandra. You're the winner of the last exercise in Chile that is organized by the Budget Observatory. Here we have Orlando Rojas from the Observatory Online. Can you tell us a little bit on your profile, where you're coming from, what motivated you to participate? Did you participate? in your team, what could be improved in general uh, for more people to participate? That is one of the biggest challenges internationally. How did you approach this experience? What could be improved for us to have more people participating? Please go ahead. Hello, everyone. My name is Gonzalo. I'm from Chile. I had an experience this year with a rally. I knew about it through the social media on Instagram specifically. It drew my attention the prizes, the, the awards. <clears throat> that was the first thing because there is the culture of um, uh, work control on, on behalf of the citizens. And this helped me understand a little bit that it was important to perform this uh, through the rally. One, it is entertaining. Second, so we knew how the budget expen expenses were happening to have access to the audit. And the other thing is that 
it gets you closer to the governmental platforms of data. It is an advantage to be able to know what's going on with the resource, resources, and it is an advantage also to identify the changes carried out in the street. You do not know until you get engaged in these activities and you say, well, uh, the hamlets are changing and the streets are changing and the bus stations are changing. It seemed to me a very interesting experience. I would recommend and I would like, I think we need to advertise that. That is important. That would be one of the things that I will improve. But I appreciate the team that was here in the budget observatory that supported us, uh, answered our questions. They provided talks and they explained about the functioning. So that's great. And for a follow up to your recommendation, uh, how which media should we use? del mundo que pensamos que a lo mejor las personas necesitan meses para entenderle para, para agarrarle con el, el, el apoyo de las organizaciones de la sociedad civil o con las organizaciones que toman parte de estos ejercicios alguien que no sabía con mucho ánimo y mucha intención puede llegar a ser el primer lugar en un ejercicio pues que requiere de cierto compromiso eh, y conocimiento entonces eso también me parece que es muy resaltable what you said about, for sure, there is a lot of Gonzalos, many Alejandras that didn't know. If they had known at least a week before, they would have participated and uh, it would have been more difficult in Chile for people to win. But now, given the How these exercises, Alejandra, Agun, Gonzalo, you will have the support. These exercises, more than bringing in something new, they are a bridge, a bridge between, between the information, existing information, the knowledge, and how I approach to know more and be more informed about the information of the budget of my country. Regarding that, <clears throat> Cesar, how did you live this experience for you? Which was the impact of participating? I'd like to know a little bit more about you. Did you know about this information when you enrolled? What motivated you to participate? What would you recommend to the countries who joined today? The ones who are starting and the ones who just started to improve First of all, I would like to appreciate the invitation. And among the questions you asked, uh, I will start with the motivation one. In the last years, something that I have developed in my professional career is the studies of the sustainable uh, development um, objectives. <clears throat> uh, and as colleagues, uh, we center focus on the research and the main reasons why we participate in this exercise of a rally is to find data focused on sustainable development. Thanks to this, I'm happy to be able to understand not only the progress, but how is the budget being assigned and how it is uh, spent to reach the goals. So that was uh, one of the 
those were one of the first reasons to be motivated. It was a pleasant experience. True thing is that we knew many data platforms from the Mexican government that we totally don't know. We don't have the approach to openness uh, apart from other platforms uh, offered by the UNDP <coughs> with uh, clean data, dynamic uh, function to understand the problems of the uh, SDGs. So those exercises are very good. We should continue doing them, not only at a national level, but also a state at a state level. As my, the previous speaker said, many a times we don't know those kinds of exercises. So if we approach the local entities for the people, it will be easier for them to participate and get, they get to know about them. So we need to integrate the citizen participation to tell stories through data because they tell a lot. And if we don't know how to show the data to the citizens, we will not be able to finish our program. So the people should engage with them. Data are difficult. <clears throat> so not anyone can clean or analyze precise precisely the data if you don't have an approach. So we need to make it easier for the citizens that are starting. They don't have so much knowledge on these topics. This is why I believe that the effort in performing in Colombia and also in Mexico, this is a seventh edition. So there is a background in Mexico. We consider that we continue doing this, promoting this, not only this, but in these regions, we have seen mentorship, which is something good because through these audits, we engaged the citizens, but still, we have some citizens that are lagging behind that don't have access to these kinds of information. So to finish, I believe these kinds of experiences will uh, continue nurturing as a society and would like to offer the government and the civil society reform budgets with a sustainable development. <laughs> So I think that it's very important that, that we uh, we are able to uh, achieve all these goals. And we've been here for over seven uh, years trying to do that. Thank you so much. And thank you, Cesar. And it's very important what you mentioned and how these exercises that can actually go towards the sustainable development. And of course, that they could uh, and that your team have actually uh, reached and, and included this approach and of course and how this affects the budget and it, i think that it's very important what you mentioned about that uh, this is a, just a first step and try to reach those when communities that don't have access to technology for that and precisely and you are the winner so you can actually help us to share your ex, uh, your experience and think about new pro mechanisms and uh, to take the, your discovery to that people that don't have the the knowledge nor the uh, access to these type of uh, things and you have a touch upon many issues uh, that we plan for this meeting as for the budget and this uh, the association to uh, sustainable uh, development as well as the use of new technologies and of course that all these budget information has an an actual meaning of reality and it's not just like a figure in a website or just a speech so our winners here, so it seems that they already knew that, and it seems that um, you practically uh, talk about all the issues, but I'd, of course, I'd like to also ask, so for those people that are online, please post your question on the chat or raise your hands if you want to. And of course, we can also uh, share these uh, questions to the experts and to the panelists because we have to talk about a lot about uh, listen to the demands and basically what we are trying to do here. So Guillermo, go ahead.
Well, good morning to all of you. Can you listen to me? Can you hear me? So more than a question is more than action. So sometimes the, the budget comes and even for these officers that have, have to make a decisions on that and they feel overwhelmed on the, between choosing a need and framework and have to allocate uh, accordingly. And many times I ask myself, like, if the citizens, like uh, the person that um, are trying to, um, that try, uh, that serves a coffee or that works in a coffee station, and they say, they, he asks himself, like, this person has the, the time for actually go there and where where the public go because this is something that sometimes I, officers get stressed because of this work and and actually see if it, this is we know by the way is that in at least in Argentina and in so many other countries we see the, the fiscal deficit and of course the constitution uh, the, see, the case that we have in Colombia because we think that, that this is something that makes them feel a little bit of stress they, they say okay the state needs to look for more resources so I during these sessions I ask myself like we see that for example people that pay lots of uh, taxes and some others don't don't do that. So these are like the type of complexities that we find out there, and we have to see that that it's. If, how can we reach, for example, the taxi driver or the teacher? So I think. And I am sharing this, and I also ask you uh, that, like, uh, the, how to reach the media and the universities, and maybe develop a platform uh, through the social media that is more uh, academic. o del jornalero o de no de todos los que co construimos esta sociedad entonces eh, sí tal vez no vamos a hablar del déficit y la deuda porque es súper complejo pero sí vamos a hablar de que estos recursos son tuyos y se están gastando así y tal personas pagan tal y, y cómo están gastando te afecta de esta manera no y tratar de que eh, de que haya eh, hay, Instagram eh, y ellos, y ellos eh, promovían este concurso eh, también tenían concurso de que eran paralelo a estos que también que llamaban a qué fue lo que pasó había un concurso ex, de, de otro estilo en el mismo observatorio fiscal que me llevó a eh, entender que había un concurso que se llamaba rally que era más grande 
Entonces fue una estrategia que usaron ahí, yo creo, los chiquillos de... That was called rally. That was a strategy just to uh, call people's attention and people then went to the Instagram profile, profile and then they formed uh, the rally. So it was very, it was the way they showed the data, it was very user friendly. So the observatory, observatory through reels or videos, they basically explained the rally. It was not only like a graph or like a picture, but it basically they were uh, answering the questions of the people. And they also made a live on Instagram and, and so that the people that entered that live session, they were able to uh, make the questions. So according to this rule, I am have certain questions uh, regarding the uh, awards and uh, they were very on that was, I think that it was part of the success. So we are the contestants, but we also have the counterpart explaining what is it about. And that's uh, something that I think that it may be work uh, really well. And I think that Ale and Gonzalez, uh, Gonzalo comments are very in, in, in touch with the diligence that is made by the soil social uh, by the society and the state in order to actually approach this kind of knowledge that is part of the society itself. So we have some questions here on the chat. I'd like also to know the, the question that Lorena Caballero made, uh, what was the main incentive that you had to participate? <laughs> Uh, 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 uh,
Office o Fundal. Uh, uh, Thank you, Juan Pablo. I think that comment is really relevant and it very much goes to Jesus' question in the chat. We are asking to the citizens that are willing with us for the rest. We put other information that was not able, you were not able to find. And what did you need it? Condition, I mean, the current condition, the data is not published to the public. Yeah. So, I mean, the internal government, they also a bit afraid. I mean, uh, it's difficult even to as the hackathons, exercises, or any other innovation players that gather only this information for the participants. So it happens in Indonesia and or Philippines. So based on this, that they, or once they see that the population has a more mature information with the data that is sometimes uh, the government is not that deep into that and they see that they if they have a mistake there's necessarily there should be like a, a like a fault but if for example more to say it like that they they have to improve that with all the people if, if, so with that we can start moving with the public and the policies and we have to we should have a, a healthy relationship so it's very important to see that how these exercises have built a, a trust from the government and trust citizens to actually have these spaces with the citizens so we continue with the other uh, uh, government agencies and institutions so i think that this is a very relevant comment so i'm going to also make this question to cesar so 
I'd like to know that it may be first that if you could uh, reply, respond to this question. And so the, based on the dynamic that you participated, which was the most appealing thing there. So what would be like the, the highlights that you have on this exercise? Okay, so for example, this thing that I mentioned about the social media and basically in your case, we'd like to know what do you think that was the most uh, appealing the organization? que ya preestablecidos, como por ejemplo realizar un data raft, realizar infografías donde mostráramos pues, lo padre que son los datos abiertos. Entonces este tipo de retos, retos extra La verdad incentivó mucho nuestra creatividad. Jamás me imaginé estar cantando y rapeando al favor de los datos y lo hice. Entonces fue, fue algo muy entretenido y, y la verdad eh, andar editando videos que jamás lo había hecho. O sea, me obligó a, a, a usar otro tipo de herramientas a las cuales yo no tenía este, pues mucho conocimiento, mucho bagaje, sobre todo herramientas de comunicación. Porque algo muy importante que aprendí dentro de las dinámicas que... que que hicieron y dentro de las propias mentorías fue contar historias a través de los datos, como lo comenté hace un, unos instantes atrás. O sea, los datos, como ya habían mencionado, es el siempre el número no significa nada si no le damos esa interpretación, si no le damos a entender a la sociedad por qué es relevante y por qué es importante que lo sepan, por qué es importante que sepan en qué se está gastando el dinero que viene de sus propios impuestos. Entonces, Este tipo de, de, de dinámicas y además entender la importancia que tiene hoy más que nunca poder hacerles llegar a esta información de manera desagregada y entendible a la población. Eh, siento que es en lo que se nos debemos centrar también, tanto los gobiernos como sociedad civil, porque muchas veces hablamos con muchos tecnicismos que son muy propios de, de la profesión o son muy propios de los entornos en los que nos desarrollamos y a la gente eh, pues que no tiene ese acercamiento, que no tiene tanto conocimiento, pues le suena raro cuando le empezamos a hablar sobre este tipo de temas. Entonces, el hecho de, de conectar con la gente a través y, y como ya comentaba este colega de Chile, Gonzalo, pues a través de las redes sociales, ¿no? También este tipo de dinámicas me hizo abrir TikTok. Yo no era muy fan de, de esta red social y ahora estoy ahí casi una hora al día checando eh, nuevos, este, pues nuevos videos, nueva información, porque también hay información muy educativa dentro de este tipo de plataformas. Muchas gracias, César. Oye, y yo ya escuché los data raps y están buenos. Está bueno. Ya vamos, iniciaremos probablemente después una competencia creativa internacional. A ver quién tiene el mejor ritmo del presupuesto, si es si está en Europa, en el sur de Asia, en Latinoamérica. Voy a dar la palabra a Juan Pablo, que tiene la mano levantada, y después a la pregunta que tiene en el chat Kay Brown, que yo creo que Alejandra va a poder contestar muy bien. Bueno, solo para explicar eh, la idea que César ya estaremos contactando para que nos ayude a divulgar mucho más la forma que tiene que llama la atención, pero que al final me interesa hacer es sustancial y tan compartido a los jóvenes. Me tiene tu nombre eh, escrita. Alex, the, that question has your name. Pues, la, la verdad es que aquí en México han, much. Here in Mexico, han transitado we have had etapas y, several y pues, stages COVID, eh, and also COVID varios retos, ¿no? Entonces, was, uh, pensar, had many cómo, challenges. That makes eh, you think cómo hacer que la participación, pues, how to do this participation in order to decrease and we do it differently because you cannot go in the streets. That was the core 
of the rallies. Now they are called ex Explora Datos, and there are many organizations involved. That is important. We have learned how to modify challenges, how to uh, do the people to be more creative, to implement mentorship. I think that was phenomenal. When we went in the streets, it was difficult to understand the databases. And now the fact that we have mentorships, as Cesar said, I believe it's something good. That is one of the main changes. <clears throat> The other one has been the most organizations that engage. The last Explora Datos was finances, gift, steer, his. So we have more participants and we perform these exercises in other instances. The uh, uh, Secretary of Economy launched something similar. There is a contest that has to do with health. All the learning, we are adding all this learning. I participated twice and then I didn't anymore because I became organizer. Suni, who has engaged with you in person, is who, the one who has organized everything and they have the best ideas to innovate. So, on the side of the participants, other my uh, partners can speak about that. But on the side of how to organize, mainly the approach to be closer to the participants, as Gonzalo said, on behalf of the organizers, that is a learning, an innovation, a change within all these additions of Explora Datos, which is important. Thank you very much, Alejandra. To start rounding up the closing of this session, for me, I would stay here listening to you more, but in an in-person session, we're going to go to our next session. This is our last day of uh, General Stewart's meeting, but I'd like to sum up a little bit of what you have shared that has been so valuable, so worth. So there are many countries, I cannot even count them because uh, maybe I miss one. Many countries think of implementing such things and they have uh, concerns like Guillermo said and uh, the ones from Indonesia, but it is worth it. The people want to know we have been able to solve a little bit, you as winners. I'd like to highlight that we also have other winning people in Bogota, the uh, city, Colombia, Argentina, previous editions, Argentina, other editions in Indonesia that have been able to join us. But there is a wealth in the winners of the world. And this session shows that the initiatives, the approach initiative initiatives with the citizenship, it is an inclusion tool per se that tells us that it is worth it. Inclusion is always worth it. Those are tools that allow us to approach the creativity of the people. Many times we uh, entangled to see how we can uh, start and we can even make a rap about it. So <clears throat> that is possible on how we can improve the presentation of information to show the in their interest. Alejandra told us how she changed the point of view on the public data to see the work to be there, to become a reality. It is not something cold. And how she uh, told us, Gonzalo, a tool to of approach to increase the trust in the citizens and governments and foster this trust to make it a close relation that is sustainable and as we like open so i believe that with this we can close i appreciate that i see more people organizing rallies from guanajuato 
all the people who connected. Thank you very much. We see each other next session and in next rallies. Let me remind our friends here with us in Bogota that next session for you is in person. Come here. We uh, keep connected. Thank you. Have a very good day. Alejandra Cesar, thank you very much, Gonzalo.